and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my March and April TV and movie wrap-up. So I actually didn't really watch a lot of things in March or in April, so this wrap-up is going to be super short. Even though I didn't watch a lot in March and April, I still wanted to do a wrap-up, so let's just get into it. So for some reason, I felt like re-watching Fifty Shades of Freed, and I don't even know why... Like I was in the mood, but I went ahead and rewatched it, and I don't know. I guess I was just feeling very like emo ish and like in my feelings, I guess. So I rewatched that. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. I loved it. I love rewatching it. It's just like my franchise that I really, really love and love rewatching over and over again. So I watched that one and then I wanted to rewatch Fifty Shades Darker. So I watched the second one after I rewatched the third one, which was really backwards. But um, I went ahead and rewatched Fifty Shades Darker, which I equally love and I felt like rewatching them. So I went ahead and did that. And yeah, I don't really have much thoughts about them. I love them, so. And then I watched The Protector, which is a Passion Flix original adaptation. I will leave my review for it down below because I did make a video review on it. I liked this. I think I gave it like four stars or 3.5 stars, something like that. I did really like it. I liked the casting. I liked the acting. It followed the book pretty, pretty well. Overall, it was a solid, solid adaptation. I liked it. Passion Flicks usually does really really well with their adaptations in general so I don't really have any like big complaints or anything like that. Yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Then I saw the movie After. I will link both of my reviews down below because I saw it a total of three times and I reviewed it twice. Uh, two separate videos. I will link them both down below so you can get kind of most of my thoughts on the movie. But I read the books, I loved the books, so obviously I had to watch the movie and when I first saw it, I wasn't really that impressed. I had a lot of issues with it, which I expressed in my review. I think I was just super shocked at how different it was from the book. So it made me not really appreciate the movie that much, so I went to go see it a second time by myself, which I have never done ever. Like I never have seen a movie in theaters by myself, but I really wanted to see it again because so many people are saying it's better the second time, go a second time. So I went to go see it again and I loved it so much more. I think I was less focused on what was so different about it, like from the book. And I just got to like enjoy it and just see it for what it was and for what it is, I really loved it. Like I do have issues with it. It's not a perfect adaptation. It's not really like the books at all, but I still really loved it and I can separate both. I can appreciate the books for what they are. I can appreciate the movie for what it is. I love them both. I think at this point I love them both equally, which is so weird to say, but I do. I think I just love them for like how different they both are, which is so weird. I don't know. I still do have problems with the movie. I'm not like completely oblivious to the problems that I have with it just because I do love it but I still love it and I'm still really glad that we got to see Tessa and Hardin on the screen and even though movie Hardin is not like book Hardin I still really loved that version of Hardin I guess I don't know the movie's not perfect and I'm not saying it is and I do have issues with it but I still really loved it and I'm just a huge after stan books and movie I'm all about it so yeah and then I couldn't stop thinking about it for like ever so I saw it like the Friday it came out and then I saw it on Sunday by myself and then an entire week later I went to go see it on Good Friday by myself again because I couldn't stop thinking about it and I just wanted to see it again and I'm obsessed with the soundtrack and it's just I'm so obsessed and I love it so much. I really, really hope we get a sequel. And then the last thing I really watched in uh, March and April was Discovery Witches. It is currently airing on AMC and BBC America. 
I have already seen the entire first season, but I am re-watching it as it's airing on live television and I'm loving it again the second time. I mean, I loved it the first time I saw it. I still love it the second time I'm watching it. It's just such a great TV show, especially if you love paranormal romance shows. I highly, highly recommend. It's so, so, so good and I'm loving it. I can't wait for season two. It's just such a great show. And also I am kind of watching hockey off and on. The playoffs are currently happening. Um, I don't really know who I am rooting for to be honest. None of the teams I really like that much so I don't know but it, it is entertaining to watch especially because it's basically teams no one ever thought would make the playoffs first of all nor did anybody think like half of them would make to round two. So like that's crazy. Um, I'm loving how unpredictable this season is. It's really, really great. And I'm very curious to see who is going to win the cup. So yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving hockey, even though I'm not really rooting for a specific team this year. It's just really fun to watch. I mean, playoffs are always exciting, whether it's your favorite team or not, like it's still really exciting to watch. So that's basically it that I've watched in March and April. I just haven't been in the mood to watch anything really. Wait, I've also been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The second half of the sixth season is currently airing right now, so I'm kind of watching that as well. I'm not loving the season as much, I think because Gina is not a part of it, which sucks. It's still a really solid season and I am still really enjoying it, but I do definitely miss Gina and her humor and like her added weirdness to the show but other than that I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine so it's always a quality show but yes other than that that's all that I've been watching recently after it definitely put me in like a huge slump to like not read anything nor to watch anything else so I've been struggling with that but yeah, that's kind of it that I've watched recently. Let me know any recent movies or TV shows that you have been watching and if you do have any recommendations for what I should watch or what's, you know, what's super popular right now, let me know. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!